Hey guys, and welcome back to The Upper Hand. We are continuing our series on modalities, and today we are talking about phonophoresis, phono for short. After this video, you will know what it is, what all is used for, if there are any contraindications, and when to use it. So let's jump right in. So phonophoresis is the application of ultrasound in conjunction with a topical drug preparation as the ultrasound transmission medium. The ultrasound is used to enhance the delivery of the drug through the skin, thereby delivering the drug for local or systemic uh, effects. What in the world does all this mean? Basically, it is a mode of transdermal drug delivery. For example, we take prescription hydrocortisone which is a mild corticosteroid, and we know that can decrease inflammation in the body or the affected body part we are targeting. So you may be thinking, well, why can't someone just take a steroid pack orally? And that is a valid question, but phonophoresis provides a higher initial drug concentration at the delivery site. So if you take steroids or some form of anti-inflammatory orally, it is helping your big toe just as much as it is helping your hurt wrist. So with Phono, you can sort of bypass that and get direct effect over the desired targeted area. So when we are doing phonophoresis, you want to change your duty cycle to around 50%, which makes it a pulsed ultrasound versus a continuous ultrasound that we would typically do um, during just an ultrasound by itself. Usually it depends on the area of the body. We're going to be around um, 0 0.8 all the way up to 1.2 watts per centimeter squared. And because we are typically working in the elbow, wrist, or hand, uh, we're usually going to have our setting at 3.3 megahertz uh, versus the 1.0 uh, megahertz that would target a deeper area. As far as contraindications go, a malignant tumor, yeah, we don't want to mess with that, of course. And, and there's not a lot of research studying the effects of applying therapeutic ultrasound to tumors, but with anything you're doing, you always have to weigh risk versus reward. Uh, pregnancy would be another contraindication um, over a joint replacement or any type of plastic components that may be uh, in the body. And there are a few other obvious ones that would also apply for ultrasound as well, but of course we won't cover all of these in this video. So. When do we use it in our clinics? So we'll typically use it after, say, carpal tunnel syndrome, typically before surgery. And again, the thought is to help decrease inflammation in the carpal tunnel area. Uh, and we use it often for just any type of sprains and strains, uh, trigger finger, equer veins, tenosynovitis, lateral epicondylitis, or tennis elbow. Uh, and you'll notice the big thing that all of these have in common is that they all have an inflammation component. So again, the idea is to decrease that inflammation, help with pain relief in that area. So there's a brief explanation of what Phono is and how we utilize it in our clinic setting. As always, I hope you have learned something and we hope to see you guys next time.